know what time it is. Predictions, 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 okay? Hello, family. Hello, family. Welcome to the Spiritual Vault. I am Mulan, a.k.a. Nikki Love, your African indigenous traditional healer. And I'm Brother Adinkra, your African indigenous traditional healer. How y'all doing tonight, family? How y'all doing? No all is well, no all is well, no all is well. All right, y'all know what day it is. Today is what? Uh, prediction day. <laughs> was prediction. it the second, the, the second or the first? Today no. is it's it's officially the second, the second now. Right? Officially the second, y'all. So, y'all know there's a lot going on right now. So we're definitely going to be doing some readings at the end. Y'all know there's a lot going on right Hey, Jaleesa, how you doing? We're going to be doing some predictions at the end. And we're going to be doing some predictions at, uh, excuse me, not at the end. I'm, I'm all, we're going to be doing predictions Some readings now. at the end. Predictions now, readings at the end. Did you, oh, you got that in before? Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, yeah? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I do. All right. I do. Yes, ma'am. You can't have sex before talk about, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Well, I thought you was going to say something about the cat because your father came around. Oh, I ain't saying nothing about the cat. The cat is being spoiled right now. All right, y'all. Hey, Jaleesa. We're good. We're good. All is good. I was debating on, you know, whether we should come on now. Whether they would say, yeah. I don't know if a lot of people are going to be watching, but if you're watching, welcome to the spiritual world. Again, I am Munam, aka Nikki Love, your African traditional healer. And, and I'm Brother Adinkra, your African indigenous traditional healer. How y'all doing tonight, family? Brother oh, Adinkra, you gotta scoot over a little bit. There you go. There you go. Right there. All right, y'all. So, what's been going on in your neck of the woods? Hey, Intakira, how are you? What's been going on in your neck of the woods? Because I know there's a lot going on in the goddamn neck of the woods of the whole United States of America. Okay? Yeah. Now, we're going to talk about predictions, but we're also going to talk a little bit about the movie Nope. We're not going to reveal it, but we're going to talk about it because there are some messages, messages in there. Yeah, little gnats flying around, goddamn it, y'all. So I'm hitting at the gnats, okay? Messages, messages in the movie that we want to talk about. And let me just tell you all this. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that Jordan Peele is on the same vibrational energy as me because when he did this movie he must have been all up in my mind for the past 10 years talking about aliens that's why right, okay yeah. but uh what's the first prediction you want to do uh um, let's see i guess we you want to do weather do weather okay go ahead uh, as you can see, you know, last month we predicted, we talked about uh, a lot of flooding, right? This whole month, a lot of flooding. When I said it was going to be flooding in places that we'd never seen flooding in before. Uh, so like the West Coast flooded, Kansas, uh, not Kansas, Kentucky flooded, Kentucky. real bad flooding. I think it was like they said the death toll was up. Last time I checked, they said it was up to like. 26 people dead from the flooding. That's how, that's like really bad flooding. They're not used to that type of uh, flooding up in that area. Um, the West Coast, they say it's monsoon, monsoon season, so, you know, but I've never seen the flooding that um, they're receiving in Las Vegas. They, they're receiving so much rain that it's it's uh, it's crazy. They have flooded in Las Vegas too. That's what I just said. Yeah, Las Vegas, yeah, Las Vegas have flooded too. But um, um, I see. What I do see, I do see more flooding. Um, I see more. I see more flooding is going to become spiritual. Flooding is going to be coming to the Midwest, with Midwest area. So all up in there. Um, in the you know the typical places I do see I do see some more flooding coming to Texas, uh, that whole region I see flooding coming to uh, Louisiana as well. I see actually I see a hurricane, maybe a hurricane coming down in that that southern region of the United States. Either it's going to hit Mississippi, it's going to hit either one of those three states. I, I, I'm more prone to say I don't know why I'm picking up Louisiana and uh, Mississippi, but I see. 
um, hurricanes coming down there. Um, for the East Coast, I'm seeing I'm seeing like some um, what they call it tropical storms or something like that for uh, the East Coast, more up in uh, Pennsylvania and uh, New York area. Um, what do you see? Don't worry about what I see. Well, it's your turn. <laughs> How about Don't that? worry about what I see. Good How job. About that? I rubbed off on him, didn't I? He's seeing. He's looking. He's seeing. Now he's really seeing, y'all. <laughs> I rubbed off on him. He's like, I see, right? Okay, y'all. Look here. What do I see for the weather? I see some more blackouts, okay? I see some more blackouts, but I do see, again, a lot of the tornado. I mean, okay. Let me get it right. Hurricanes coming through. Okay, hurricanes slash tornadoes. I also see an earthquake. I see an earthquake somewhere big. I don't know if it's Japan. If there's gonna be an earthquake in Japan. I keep seeing an earthquake in Japan. But um, I do see some more. You know, the hurricanes are coming. They're coming and coming. Some of them are gonna drop down to a tropical storm, but then some of these hurricanes are coming to tear some stuff up. Okay, um, within some of these hurricanes, I'm also seeing some tornadoes. So there's gonna be some tornado warnings as well. Oh boy, why are they showing me? Is it Kentucky? I think it's Kentucky that I see some type of energy coming through. Or Kansas. One of the two, Kentucky or Kansas. Okay? Tornado. Now remember the words. What she say? When I think of home, I think of a place where there's. So, <laughs> Kansas, I think, is more closer to what Spirit is showing me. Okay? Now, something's going to happen in Canada. I don't know if it's going to be a hurricane or like it's going to be early type of snow type of weather, but something's going to go on in Canada, okay? DMV area back down the East Coast. We gotta we gotta prepare because they're coming through. Some of them are gonna come through. Some of them are gonna drop the um, tropical storms. Okay, um, like I said, get ready. Get your survival kits ready. Stock up on water. Stock up on batteries. Make sure that you prepare for the weather that's coming. Okay, don't be caught without no water, no extra canned goods. A lot of places are flooding. Okay. There's some cleansing that has to take place in some of these cities in the United States of America. Not, I mean, I'm speaking for here now, but overseas too. Y'all see what happened in Italy. Another thing we have to pay attention to is, you know, I would consider a solar flare part of the weather. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because in Texas, they just had some solar flares, and then it was Ohio that was throwing, they were throwing some solar flares down. So, y'all be mindful because there's more coming. There's more blackouts coming. There's more flooding coming. The streets have to be cleansed. These cities have to be cleansed. So we're saying that, family, we're going to have some crazy type of weather, okay? Just make sure that you are, like I said, stock up on water, your canned goods, batteries, flashlights, extra lights, okay? Uh, Spirit, I, Spirit, I was, was, when you started talking about the uh, Texas again, Spirit also showed me there's going to be other states that are going to get the... Uh, Gonna start having meteorites land in them. Yeah, so don't be su be surprised, mm -hmm. okay? Because they're coming, they're coming. All right. Um. Any questions about the weather? Any questions about the weather, y'all? Now, what's next? What y'all want to um, do next? Love, politics. Uh. said about finances. Let's talk about love. Love. Love is it? I matter? recognize the picture, Deborah. Yep, I recognize the picture. So you can give me the ice too. My throat was right. So finances just put it real side in case of emergency, okay? Don't you look at it? What's in there? Mm -hmm. Alright. All right, do y'all have any questions? Any questions, family? 
All right, so how many of y'all, now what I really do want y'all to pay attention to is I want you to keep your head up. When you go outside, look up at the sky. I want y'all to start paying attention and looking at what's going on. Have y'all seen thunder? You know how when you watch the sky, you see thunder bolts? I don't see thunderbolts like that. If I do, that's when it's really raining. But if, if you don't see thunderbolts, that means they up there fighting, okay? Uh, yeah, but we're going to do readings after we do the predictions. We're going to pull out the Ali Amaro mat and we're going to do a reading, okay? What you said, also, uh, love. Love, love, love. love. <laughs> Love is in me. I see. You want to finish soon? No. Put the the <laughs> now, um, what I see is just for love this month, um, Spirit is just saying, take it easy. Take it easy. Don't rush into anything. Um, this if you're not, a, if you haven't found anybody. Because a lot of people seem to be looking for a companion of late lately. Like a lot of people are wanting companionship, mm -hmm. men and women. Especially the people that have been contacting us. Um, Spirit is also showing me that it's just like it's time for it's more the energy that's coming to the to the earth and, and just really is just more like people wanting to be um, more serious with the people that in relationships with. A lot of that 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 energy of uh, cheating around and sneaking around it's still out there, but more and more people are becoming more serious about living a, a, a lifestyle of being faithful to one another. Not just because a lot of that stuff is even kind of um, getting old, but a lot of people are uh, they are becoming spiritual. So that the, the energy, they don't want to be dealing with a lot of energy of, of people energy, like just negative energy. Even the men, you're starting to hear men talk about they don't want to be dealing with no toxic energy from no woman and, and vice versa. You see, hearing the same thing with women. Women want somebody that's more serious now so right. um i'm just seeing like a, a balance coming back to to the love life and for this month it's just spirit just said take everything slow if you haven't if you don't have have a person in your life and if you do have a person in your life start getting more serious and focus on what y'all want to do and where y'all want to take your future as a couple or a relation or uh what you call it one ship <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess I agree with you on that, Brother Zay, but, you know, a lot of people, I, I, I feel like a lot of people are going through a spiritual, physical transformation, and this spiritual, physical transformation is taking them to another, uh, 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 vib uh, to another vibrational energy, um, whereas, you know, they're becoming more spiritual, like he said, so you're not having a lot, a lot of that toxic energy, that arguing, that cheating. Most people right now are no, they unknowingly are going through this transformation, not realizing that their mindset is changing. Okay, so along with the mindset changing and maturing and evolving into a more spiritual being, what's happening is, you know, and they don't know, but they they they're not understanding and they're not trying to understand is that they being, you know, they're being worked over. Their spirit is being worked over. Okay. So a lot of people are going to start thinking differently. A lot of people are going to start feeling differently, okay? A lot, of, a lot of different type of emotions are going to be presented as you go through this physical, spiritual transformation. And it's for the better. And it's for good. And a lot of people are really wanting more peace now. The energy that's being pushed out there to where all these people are waking up and they're going through this spiritual transformation is like they just want peace, harmony, and love, okay? So love, love this month um, of August, I just can see it continuing to evolve, evolve for the better. One shifts, I call them, marriages, whatever you want to call them, they are evolving to become more better because both beings are becoming more spiritual. Spiritual, yo, yo, okay? Yo-yo say, yo-yo both say, I'm at, a, I'm at a point in life where, when it comes to spirituality, you know, I don't know what to believe. I'm kind of on the fence with the church, and then it's like a battle. It was like, I don't know, and I don't know anymore. I'm you know, you know, in the Bible, it talks about the, the, the age of the, of the water bearer. Jesus talks about after him, there will be the age of the water bearer, which
means that you know we're in the we're in the age of Aquarius and Aquarius is air and also you will see the picture from pouring water letting you know there's a rebirth that must take place mm -hmm. and this rebirth must take place so that's in your own Bible okay so it's the same thing we are going through a spiritual transformation we're at the beginning of the, we're at the end of the beginning where we're going back and evolving so in Jesus' time, that was the Pisarian age, okay? And the Christian age that was in. And he tells you, after me, there shall become the water bearer. So that means there's a major cleansing that must take place on this planet. And that's what we're seeing. This is just not about, oh, you just see a flood. Like I said, mother's womb has, that must take place on this planet. And that's what we're seeing. This is just not about, oh, you just see a flood. Like I said, mother's womb has to be cleansed, okay? And this is something that was already in the Bible that was coming back from the ancient Africans, okay? That they took from us and put in the Bible because it was foreseen from the ancient ancestors. So what's happening is that water is flooding and cleansing the earth. So that's why we're going to see so much water coming this month, next month, the month after that. Whether it's a hurricane, whether it's a tornado, whether mm -hmm. it's flooding... Whatever it may be, water is coming to cleanse, okay? It's rain, anything. So, I mean, you know, we say that the Bible is African folklore. African folklore, plagiarism, lies, some of it is true. I tell people to keep it. There should be no, there's no confusion, just understanding. You know, and even in the Bible, it talks about God is saying, or Jesus is saying, I'm the, you guys too, right? So, we're saying that, you know that's what's that that's part of the transformation we're becoming more spiritual so our bodies are becoming more lighter right we're thinking differently because the dna is being reactivated and we're opening up more to be more intertwined with everything on this planet as well as the cosmos that's where that concept comes as above so below but see we wasn't living as above so below like we were supposed to because we have to go through our physical transformation so as we're going through this physical transformation, this is the part in the Bible where they talk about auntie and aren't you to you guys, right? Because now you are becoming God's life as you go through that transformation and your DNA is reactivating. Because now you're being infused with more uh, information, all right? Because that's what your DNA is. And that junk DNA that they call junk DNA is really a DNA that was shut down secretly to now be reopened so you too can have the same energy as that God that they speak of in your Bible. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we did what we did uh, love we did love uh -huh. finance politics weather what's the, song? What's the last one? Uh, health, right? Yeah. She said Hmm. Like I said, I'm kind of like in tears right now because I don't know how what to believe anymore. It's like I feel a part, part of me is messed up from the church, not the Bible, but the church. So I'm kind of like, I guess you mean, she said tell me. But you mean you kind of like what? That what's that last? So my thing is, you know, at the end of the day, you know, don't let it, don't battle with it. Just, just keep moving forward. Because what you gotta do is again read that Bible from front to back. There's a lot of truth in there, not a lot, but there's truth in there, and it's telling you about who you are and where you come from. And then there's this prejudice, and then it was lies. Okay, don't let it battle you. It is what it is. Take it for what it is. And ask your ancestors to reveal to you where you need to be and what you need to be doing. Okay? You're doggone right. Every time I turn around, oh, go read Psalms 37. That one right there will get somebody back if they do something wrong with you. Oh, go read 92. If you want some money, you better pay. Go read Psalms 1123. There's going to bring you some money. I had, a, I had a friend that was Christian who mm -hmm. believed in the Bible wholeheartedly. And if some, he said, man, all I got to do is somebody. Say something to me. If somebody do something to me, I pray in their face. Uh, Psalms twenty three. 
And all kind of stuff just happens to them. God just goes after them. Nah, I be like, nah, niggas, you putting hoodoo on them. What they don't realize <laughs> is not this song. It's you. It's the energy you put out. So if you have a very, very powerful inyama, okay, then guess what? Your inyama could be so powerful, can curse or bless somebody. I got to be careful what I say. Because if I say it, it happens. If I think it happened, and I'm not even being funny, this is real, and a lot of people have the same power. Don't get it confused. <laughs> you got to be powerful what you say. Because when you say it, it happens. So if I read Psalms 23, like he said, then yeah, all kinds of stuff is going to happen triple, 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 triple the time. Because I already have it naturally. Mm -hmm. You understand? So people don't realize it's the power in you that is allowing these things to take place. Not Psalms, not whoever wrote that. But the reason why Psalms works because it's it's using the you know the, the tongue or whatever, and then they may I don't even know if they envision it, but they're using that as a, as a, a instrument to call to to make their will come out and affect somebody's life. They're using the words that was written. That's what I'm saying. That probably was word written said over and over and over again. Like I said, if I pray to this deity, just say I say Kim. Kim, give me some money. I need some money. I tell you, you know what? Pray to Kim. She's going to give you some money. Then you tell the next person, next person, and guess what? You go to Kim. You say to prayer, Kim, I need you to bring me some money. I need some money for some bills. You say it. She say it. He say it. It's going to come to pass. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a common tongue that's used to being said. Yeah, but a lot of people just focus on Psalms. You can use Matthew. You can use any part of Proverbs. the Bible. You can use Proverbs, First Corinthians. You can use all of these. You can use Revelations. You can use any part of the Bible. Um, it's books that have been written about how to use different books of the Bible for magic. And it's not just Psalms. It's the whole Bible. Y'all got it? All right, so let's see what Health. Let's talk about health, and then we'll do we'll do a couple of reasons and we get off in here. Health. Um, just pay attention again. You know, one of the things I've noticed last month in July, which you need to pay attention to in, in um, August, your body's going to start talking to you, and you're going to hear your body loud, clear. Listen to your body because it's going to start talking to you. It's going to start talking to the point that, that the organs are even going to start talking to you, okay? Mm -hmm. Pay attention to what the body's telling you, okay? Um, the body, again, is going through some physical changes as well, part of this transformation. So your organs are going through changes, your blood. Do get serious about taking care of your health. Listen to every sign that your body gives you. If your body say don't eat sugar and something is being exaggerated, just say if you, you had a stomach ache and you, you keep eating the same thing and your stomach keep hurting, don't eat it no more because your stomach's trying to tell you that shit right there is bothering you. Stop eating it, okay? This is real. And you gotta, you got to be in line with the transformation that the body's making because your organs, your physical body's going through that transformation too. Certain things you can't do like you used to do before. Because you're becoming more of a lighter being, your stomach is shrinking, okay? Um, there's a lot that's going on. People need to pay attention. Even the way that you hear, uh, the way that you think, the way that your organs were working, some of that is changing, okay? So listen to your body because it's going to scream loud to you when you ain't supposed to be doing something, okay? Um, as I've noticed, there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, diabetes, people are dealing with a lot of diabetic, a lot of people, not just black, but white too. A lot of people are becoming diabetic. Mm -hmm. That should tell you something right there. Change your diet because the food that you're eating ain't got no business in your mouth. Okay? Take it out your mouth. Your body doesn't want it no more. And again, it's part of you going through your spiritual, spiritual physical transformation. <clears throat> try to eat more vegetables. Try to ground your feet with the earth. Go outside barefooted. Start grounding yourself so the earth can feed you through your soles and your feet. It can feed your physical body and your soul. Okay? So do do listen to your body. Let you see what the body. 
Um, as soon as you said health, the spirit kept saying, um, pay attention to what you eat. I don't know. And it's funny because you, you went into that. But um, I just see, like you said, we really have to pay attention. Spirit is saying a lot more people need to drink water. A lot more people need to drink water. A lot more people need to get more into the green vegetables. A lot more people need to um, focus uh, purely on their health because it's going to be life changing. Um, Spirit is saying it's going to be life changing. We, we must focus on our health now. Um, the ancestors want us to focus on our health. The ancestors um, are giving people signs too, not just the body, but the ancestors are trying to alert their loved ones to stop eating certain foods, um, especially the meat. I, for the last three months, I've been getting stuff. I've been getting information about the meat. Like, be careful what you eat. Be careful. Don't eat. All, don't stop eating so much meat. Stop eating so much meat. This is constantly coming to me. Con stop eating so much meat. Don't eat meat every day. Don't eat meat every day. Eat meat once or twice a week, but just slow down on the meat because it's time for our body to go through a transformation. And a lot of us, the ancestors are saying it's time for us to heal our bodies mm -hmm. naturally because it's something that's coming that uh, they want us to be prepared for physically and spiritually. But I just see, you know, soon, like I said, as soon as you said it, the body, the, the, the spirit just said, pay attention to what you eat. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, Kim, with excess mucus, you want to try to drink a lot more warm water. Another thing I do is that I noticed since I've been doing it for the last two or three months is making, I don't know if y'all see me put it up, but I make the ginger juice with pineapple juice with cucumber and we boil the skin of the pineapple and then we cut up the pineapple, put it in the juice, so we add fresh ginger in the juice and add a lot of ginger. It's going to burn a little bit, but it gets rid of that mucus and the ginger is also good for your stomach. And then we put a cucumber in there and the skin of the pineapple that we boil, we put the juice, the water from that in there too. So we make a whole drink. It's really good also for weight loss, but it's really good for mucus. And then you just got to drink a lot of warm water and that'll kind of break down the mucus. At least try to get you a half a gallon or a gallon in a day, okay, for the mucus, okay? Mucus, yeah. All right, we're going to do a reading real quick. We're going to pull out the Neonium model map. And we're going to do a reading now. Uh, Deborah, give me your question again. Yeah. All right, family. So let me show y'all. We're reading with the. This is called the Niani Imara divination map, and we're reading with this. Okay. Tell me how you want. Tell me how this looks. You gotta put it down. What's your question again? Will I have, will I, will I meet somebody with somebody coming to my life and my son's name and Nixon will be, will be, okay, one question, Deborah. One question real quick. Let me see, can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. That's good? Yeah, that's uh, good. That's sure? good. That's good. All right. Okay. Look at her question for me. Okay. Now this is a, it, it, this is a dwarf mat, okay? As y'all can see, the little dwarf. So what's the question again? I'm gonna ask you a question for him. Uh, what, uh, where is it? Oh, will I meet somebody? Will you meet somebody this year? Will somebody come into my life? Hmm. I know you got, I know you got, I know that you have, um, put up a little bit so they can see my face. I know that you have energy from the mothers that's protecting you. Your ancestors, now these right here represent ancestors. Your ancestors are definitely trying to work with you, but your ancestors want you to work on your health. This lands on your health, okay? So your ancestors want you to focus on your health. Put it down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Your ancestors want you to focus on your health. Yeah. Okay? A little bit more. 
Can you see? All right. So right here, the ancestors are, are definitely guiding your path, okay? And you got the divine mothers. But let me ask the question again. What did she say? Will she meet somebody this year? Let's see. Okay, y'all. Can y'all see? Will Deborah meet somebody this year? Will she meet somebody this year? Will she meet somebody this year? All right. All right, Deborah. So, yes, you're going to meet somebody this year. You're definitely going to meet somebody, but I'm just with the ends. The ancestors want you to focus on your health. Let me, let me see what's going on. Hmm. See how the, the dwarf falls up and the little butt is showing? You got somebody around you that's kind of negative, Deborah? Got somebody around you that's kind of negative? That's not too... See what she's saying. Okay. Some negative energy around you. Who's that? Is this what Deborah is? Yeah, you're your boss. She said yes. My sister. Okay. Because it's, it's picking it up that somebody around you is negative, okay? Um, hmm. Hmm. Very negative. It looks like she's negative to the point where she's trying to cause you some obstacles. Because you see our tiger oh, eye stone lens is on the um, obstacles, okay? And maybe her energy pulling on you or you talking to her, but it's definitely not good. Not good. Um, yeah, she asked about the well, world yesterday. What? Anybody got, else got any questions? Because she asked something about her son. What about him? We'll answer yeah. that question while we're waiting for somebody else to. 